So you've created this amazing .NET Maui app and now you want to publish to the store, but you're not sure exactly how to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that, how to create a key store, how to create a app that is publishable to the Google Play Store. So stay tuned. So the process of archiving and publishing your app to the store is generally the same across Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Um, you all have to have this certificate or some way to digitally sign your binary that you're going to deliver to the store because that will prove that you created this app version. Um, now that's important because if someone, a person that is not as nice as you, um, maybe finds the credentials for your publisher account, um, maybe they have access to your code somehow, um, but you know, you have that certificate which is still um, very much private somewhere. You kept that in a safe. They can't find that. Um, so that still prevents them from uploading a app to the store, right? Um, because they could create a version that would um, get all kind of user data from your users from your app. That is not something that you should want. So this is kind of like an extra layer of security um, so that they can't just upload any version to the store um, because it's not signed by you. Now for Android, this happens with a key store. Um, and that key store, you only have to generate it once, basically, um, but you don't have to lose it. Well, you should not lose it, uh, because if you lose it, then you won't have any way of uploading new versions of your app to the Google Play Store. So whenever you've generated that key store, you have to hold on to it, um, because if you lose it, you will have to create another definition in the Google Play Store, um, and you will have to supply your app through that, but you can't update the existing listing in the Google Play Store. So you can just generate a new key store, Store, that's no problem. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, um, but you have to keep it um, if you have generated one and if you have published it to the store, because the first time you publish it to the Google Play Store, then the key store is attached to that app and you have to keep using that key store over and over again for each update that you're going to provide to the Google Play Store. So that is very important. Now, let's switch over to Visual Studio. You can see here Visual Studio 2022. Now, the interesting thing is that I'm going to show you everything in uh, the command line, how to do it, uh, which first of all teaches you, you know, how to do the actual stuff, what is going on under the hood. And secondly, the UI just isn't there in Visual Studio yet. <laughs> um, so at the time of recording, um, Visual Studio and .NET MAUI is still in preview, but I promise you this process is going to be exactly the same whenever .NET MAUI is released. Um, I also promise you that there will be a UI in Visual Studio to do this, just like there is today for Xamarin Forms, but it just isn't ready yet uh, because of all the changes that we're going through. Um, but a big bonus is if you've learned how to do it through the command line, then you also know how to incorporate this in your build pipeline. And ultimately, that is where you want to deliver your versions from to the Google Play Store, right? So without further ado, let's just check out how to do this. Um, so here we are in Visual Studio 2022, the preview version right now, and the app doesn't really matter. You can substitute this with your own amazing app, of course, that you have written. This is just the file new .NET MAUI application that you're seeing here. So just a default template, uh, which doesn't really matter. I'm not even going to show it to you, um, but I can just use this to make a publishable version for the store. Now, what we want to do is go into a terminal. Um, I can do that by um, pressing control backtick, or you can find it here in view terminal, and that will pop up a terminal that's integrated right into Visual Studio, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, this is PowerShell in this case. You can also get like the, the Windows command line doesn't really matter. Um, and if you can run kind of like your Android app for .NET MAUI, um, then you have all the tools installed to also create the key store and, and do all the uh, commands that I'm showing you here today. Now, also, if you already have a key store because you're going to update an existing app uh, with this major upgrade to .NET MAUI and your user won't notice a thing uh, from that, but you can still sign it with the same key store that you already have. Um, but if you're going to publish a new app, then you need to create the key store. And I'm going to show you that right now. So what you need to do is go through the key tool and you need to supply a whole bunch of parameters here. So um, some of them are going to be kind of like generic. You just have to use them. Other ones is uh, values that you have to come up with. Uh, and we're going to use that in a little bit to actually generate our signed uh, binary. So pay attention. So we're going to use key tool. Then we're going to say gen key. Uh, minus V, I'm, I'm definitely not even sure what this all means, but this is how you should do it. And then you're going to say key store. 
So this is going to be where the key store is going to be stored. Uh, I'm just going to say key.keystore, which is the file name with the extension, and it's just going to save it in like this folder right here. So the uh, C users, la 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 la, and the folder that I'm running this um, project from. So it's just going to save it there. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, then we're going to say alias. That's important too. That's kind of the alias inside of this key store. I think technically you might have more aliases in one key store. I don't really know. Um, so, but this alias is a name that you should remember. So save that somewhere in your uh, password manager or whatnot, somewhere where you feel it's safe. Um, but you're going to need this alias later on. So uh, I'm just going to name this Maui alias. And then the next couple of things is um, the key algorithm. So you can specify an algorithm with which uh, the, the key store, the um, the encrypted data will be signed and we're just going to say RSA. Um, then we're going to say key size, which is has to do with how many bytes are being used for like the encryption and stuff. Uh, 2048. And this last part is kind of interesting as well and also very important. So we can specify the validity, uh, which I'm going to set to 10,000, which is a number of days. So 10,000 days, which sounds like pretty much. And you always want to have your certificates kind of like expire very quickly, right? That's more um, secure. But the funny thing is whenever you provide a um, signed binary to the Google Play Store and the validity isn't long enough, then it will say, uh -uh, I can't do this. I can't take in this thing, you need to make it um, um, expire much more in the future. Um, because if we think back to what I just told you, if your key store is expired, then you can't do updates. So you need to set this to a very high number, a number where you're confident that that will be the end of life of your app. Because whenever this key store expires, that's also the point where you can um, stop uh, updating your app in the Google Play Store. So you have to make sure that this is a big number um, so that it doesn't expire in the lifetime of your application. Now with this, I can just press enter and it's going to ask me a couple of things. It's going to be kind of like this command line wizard. So first I have to uh, do a password. I'm just going to do, um, I don't know, maybe subscribe now, maybe something that you want to subscribe to. Uh, I need to re-enter this, so subscribe now. And then you have to supply a couple of values, like your first and your last name. Well, that one is easy. Uh, what is the name of your organizational unit? To be honest, I don't even know what they want here. And I think you have to specify at least one of these values. Uh, the rest doesn't really matter. Or you can just, you know, type some garble in there. I don't know. Um, so my organizational unit, OU, I don't know. Name of your organization. I work with Microsoft. Um, I don't know, you know, Netherlands, that's where I am. Um, so just do some things here. And then you have to pay attention because then it's going to ask you to confirm here at the bottom. Um, and then you have to say yes or no. And the default is no. So whenever you just press enter here, the whole thing starts over. So make sure that you press yes here. Then it's going to do some things, generating key pair, self-signed certificate uh, with a validity of 10,000 days. And then you have to enter a separate password for the alias here, uh, which is the Maui alias. And you can just press return for like the same password. So it's going to be subscribed now as well. If you want, you can do a different password here, which makes it even more secure. For now, I'm just going to press return and we have the same thing. It's going to give you this warning. Um, to be honest, I don't think it doesn't really mean anything. Um, probably it's good to look into that, but um, at least, you know, this format that we have generated right now is the one that um, um, is accepted by the Google Play Store. And I'm not sure if this is um, going to be accepted. So this warning, this, this key tool is something, is a job Java tool, not as much as an Android tool, I think. Um, so, you know, it, it might give you a warning for something completely different. Now, if we do Explorer dot, which will open the file Explorer in Windows, um, we can also see that that key store is now here. So you want to grab this one. You definitely do not want to commit this to your public repository. Um, you probably want to keep this in a safe place so that others can get to it because this is the key to publishing your app to the store. So beware of that. I'm just going to um, keep it here. So I can close this terminal right now because we've actually gone through the hard part um, and I'm going to go to my solution explorer and then open the CS project right here. Now, as you know, um, .NET MAUI has this single project approach. So all the targets, Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, uh, Windows, they're all here in this project, which is really convenient for developing. Um, but for, you know, uh, publishing these kinds of things, uh, you really have to do some platform specific stuff. So that makes it a little bit harder, but it's still very, very easy to do. Now, don't be scared. I'm going to paste in um, some some XML from right here off screen. 
And I will walk you through that. So what this does, if you've looked into CS Proc files before, these property groups can have a condition. So this property group is only added to your build whenever the target framework um, has Android, which kind of makes sense, right? We only want to do this for Android builds, else it might even give you um, some, some uh, error if you don't add this. And the configuration is release. So we only have to actually sign our binary whenever we create a release build, right? So, um, you know, you can tweak this if that's uh, necessary necessary for your requirements. But um, this kind of like makes the most sense for most people, I think. Now, Android key store, we're going to set that to true. Um, Android signing key store is going to be dot dot slash key dot key store. Um, because if we think back to the file explorer, um, then the key store was actually at the same level as the solution file. And the csproj file is a level deeper. So we have to have this relative path. Um, of course, you know, if you have the key store somewhere different, um, or you pull it in through some kind of build step in your pipeline, and then you want to provide this value elsewhere, um, but or another way. Um, but this definitely works as well. You can just put the path in here. Now we are going to have this um, signing store pass, and that was subscribe now. So we have that. Uh, the alias, I set that to Maui alias, right? So here's where the alias comes in. And then I have the same password right here. And now we actually have everything in place to create a signed app. So actually I'm going to, well, I could set it here to release and I could do a build and that will give me a binary that will actually work, um, that will actually be signed that you can actually take from, actually let's, let me do that. So I'm just gonna uh, build this right here. I'm going to say, right click, build and that should create a release build so the build is starting and then in our output folder there will be a aab file because that is the only accepted format by now for the google play store um, the android app bundle and you can just take that and you can upload that to the store no questions asked but um, if we want to continue down with the terminal um, um, path right here so we're going to go to view terminal again um, you can also do another thing so i can also say dot net publish and I'm gonna have to specify the configuration. So dash C, which is going to be release, right? Before uh, we need to trigger this configuration part right here. So release. And if you're doing this through the command line, then you also need to specify the target framework. So we're gonna say uh, dash F, and then we're going to have to say net 6.0 Android, which is kind of like the target that you can um, see here all the way at the top, right? So we have these targets in our single platform, uh, single project approach right here. So, and if we scroll down, this also needed because we need to trigger this target framework contains dash Android, right? And that is what it does right here. So, and if we do this, um, then we kind of like have the same thing as whenever we um, just build the application and it will be in our output folder, but now it will be in a separate published folder, um, but it will do the exact same thing. In fact, you could also do .NET build minus C release um, uh, uh, minus F net 6.0 Android. You will have the exact same things. Okay, so the command line returned. So we should have binaries right now. Let's do another explorer dot to open our file explorer right here. And we're going to go into our Maui publishing sample app right here, the bin folder, the release folder, the Android folder. And here you can already see two AAB files and an APK file. The APK file is still generated. Maybe you can disable that somehow. I don't think you can use it to go through the store anymore. You can still sideload that on your Android device probably. Um, but for the Google Play Store, you need the AAB file right now. And you need to have the one that had signed in it, right? So the dash signed, that is the one that is actually signed that you can upload to the Play Store that you can release and that you can um, distribute to your users. Yay! Now, the exact same thing basically is in this publish folder. So that's kind of like the difference between a .NET build and .NET publish. Um, you know, it's up to you which command you want to use in which scenario, but here you have the same thing. So we have the uh, the regular AAB, um, uh, maybe you have some use for the not signed one, you want to sign it with a different key store, you can do that manually if you want, but you want to basically take this signed one um, and you can upload that to the Google Play Store. One other thing that I want to tell you, um, which can be important whenever you want to run this from a automated pipeline, um, especially like with the key store file, right? If you're gonna pull down that from a secure storage or something like that, you can also provide these values that you're here putting in the csproj file. You can put that as parameter in your .NET publish command. So if we go back to the .NET publish right here, uh, we can also specify the values of, of these things right here, like namely like this key store, I can just copy this. And I can say slash p, um, and I can say Android signing key store is, 
And then I, with quotes, if needed, I can provide the, um, actually, let me get myself out of the way. I can provide the value here um, as a um, command line argument as well. So you can put it here in quotes if there's some kind of space in there, but technically um, you don't really need to do that. Um, and if we look at like the other properties, you can specify all the properties or you can mix and match. So if I go to the Android signing uh, store pass right here, that's probably one that you don't want to have in the CS Proj. You can just add that here as a command line variable as well. Um, and you could just add the password this way. So this is just another way of also supplying these values, which does the exact same thing. You don't need to have both in there. Um, but you know, if it suits your scenario better, then you can also provide it here through the command line and run it like that. And have that is how you can archive and publish your .NET MAUI Android app. Now that wasn't too bad, right? I mean, yes, there is some manual work that you need to do here, but mostly the stuff that you need to do just once and um, ideally in your pipeline so that you can just um, get that binary at the end of your pipeline as an artifact and you can send that right away to the Google Play Store. Um, and then you have your app launched and you will get rich, loaded, with uh, the success of your million dollar app, of course. Now you're probably wondering, and how about my .NET MAUI iOS app? Well, this video right here will show you how to do this for iOS, but maybe you still need to build your whole app and you could use some help with that. Then maybe you should check out this playlist on all the things .NET MAUI. And of course, you want to make sure that you check here to subscribe to my channel and all of this content will come to you automatically. See you next time.